On the New York City Marriott Hotel's intermission report, the scoreboard shows the Penguins leading by a score of three to nothing. Matt Lachlan and the Maven, Stan Fischler back in East Rutherford. Stan, uh, just a dismal, horrible performance through two periods by the Devils. Whatever good they felt on Thursday, uh, they left somewhere uh, before today's game. No fire at all. I don't know why you said that. I mean, you're overlooking. I want to steal your thunder. <laughs> you're, no, you're overlooking the brilliant Pittsburgh game plan. And that is? I mean, Yager gets benched or whatever. I mean, they said it's a, a groin injury, but we know historically that sometimes they kid about injuries. But uh, kidding aside, look at what happened with the Rangers when Wayne Gretzky got hurt. He went out with the injury, and so many other players lifted their games. They were able to use kids. They got energy. Uh, Yager goes out with the injury, and you get Kovalev into the lineup, but you get some of the young talent that they have and there's a tendency to overlook that young talent because most of them are European and they don't do a lot of interviews and you think well they can't play but actually they're terrific players and I believe that that factor that Gretzky Yager factor when the superstar goes out the rest of the team plays better and of course conversely I don't know what the Devils were thinking but it looks like they thought they had the the points written in that they had to win before the game started. Yeah, they certainly have played very poorly. Uh, no life, no energy. And credit Pittsburgh. They've cut off any passing lanes. They've beaten the Devils to every loose puck, and they have just really dominated. I can't remember one difficult shot that Barrasso's had a hand. Well, you got to remember that in the first game, the Devs only got two real goals. One was an open netter, and it was a very close game right down to the end. It was virtually even. Pittsburgh outshot the Devils, but the key right now is Bobby Halik, he has to be rejuvenated. Uh, there's no doubt that Robbie Fitorek has to find out a way to get Bobby Halik going. And I'll tell you this, there is no way that they can avoid bringing Dennis Peterson at center. He's got, they got to have Peterson centering for Pandolfo. And there's no doubt about that. that that's going to be a line that has to work in the next game. You know, well, Peterson much better when he plays at center than he is when he plays at the wing. I don't know what the shots will show in the second period, but in the first, when the Devils had seven, four of them came from the defense. We talked about it on the Continental Airlines Devils game night. Chico's chalkboard. He said someone other than the Arnett line had to come up with shots because that did not happen Thursday. No one's come up with shots. Well, as I said, uh, Peterson with Pandolfo and Rolston is one thing that has to happen. And the other thing is that the, the power play is just like uh, unenergetic. It, it's like they, they're taking their time. And I, I believe that they have to start taking the body and they need some kind of pizzazz. And you know where you get that pizzazz? You get it from Chris Oliver. He's got to be put back into the line. If he's a guy who gives them energy, Breeland gives them energy. These are guys who are sitting out, and I think they can make a difference. Well, tomorrow the game starts at 2, so it's a quick turnaround, and maybe some fresh legs will be employed by Robbie Fitorik. By the way, the crowd was cheering Oliva's name at a certain point in the second period, wanting that energy from the Devil's tough guy. Robbie Fitorik not happy. You can understand why.